Go. But for RA, we're going to have to use the level again. Now there there is a setting circle here, but mine is never I've never been able to get it to work properly. It slides around, see that? So just use a level. Okay, so there is my mount all set up in the home position. It's balanced, got the camera on manual, power on. Now we just need the battery. DC connector for my wiring harness. Turn that on. Remember I said you gotta remember this part. So you don't have to do any setup on the handset. So you just go ahead and enter through all this crap. You don't care any of this because we're not using the handset. So when you get to this point, begin alignment, you say no. Then we can go into the utility functions and go down until you find PC direct mode and enter. So now the handset's all done. But remember, if you lose power or anything for any reason, then you're gonna have to redo that, that step. Okay, let's just take a look here at what we're drawing. 0.54 amps, let's make sure the mount is turned on yes the mount is turned on well it would because we got the handset so okay usb cables bane of astrophotography <laughs> existence um sometimes they work sometimes they don't sometimes they need the uh the cleaner uh contact cleaner um so you want, you know, high quality cables, gold contacts if you can. Uh, the ones that are left outside, I try to keep covered. And then if you need longer links, you can get active cables. For instance, from there into the house, uh, you can see here that's an active cable with a repeater in the middle of it. This is a shorter active cable, so it doesn't have a repeater in the middle. It just has it on the one end. This is USB 3. It doesn't need to be. None of this stuff is USB 3. And just so you know, unless you have USB 3 equipment, there is no advantage to a USB 3 hub. It will not aggregate your USB 2 signals and send them down to the computer with USB 3. There's actually separate connectors in the USB 3 cables for the backwards compatible USB 2.0. So all the USB stuff, USB 2.0 stuff stays USB 2.0. No advantage to USB 3 gear unless you have a modern camera that, that uses USB 3. Okay, so put that on. One thing I didn't do was get out here with my laptop, uh, but I'll just talk you through it. This one, one last thing, you know, you plug that into the USB on your laptop, but through having these long cables and stepping on them and tripping on them and stuff, uh, I have ruined some motherboards on laptops, so that's not good. So what this is another jerk stopper from that Tethered Tools website. And what this one is, and it just comes off like that, so you can put it on any size cable, any diameter cable. What this one does is it plugs in your RS, uh, not RS, uh, RJ45, your ethernet connector on your laptop. 
and that forms a strain relief for the USB. I think the, the Ethernet connectors tend to be a little more substantial and besides I'm wireless all the time or in a dock so it wouldn't crush me if my um, Ethernet connector stopped working but I definitely want my USB cables to always USB plugs to always work so this is a strain relief for that on the laptop okay so we're all set and ready to go with the uh, laptop which we'll do when it gets dark <laughs>